Today is a wonderful day. We are getting close to our birthdays because April is our birthday month. We are in the middle of celebrations and also great weather here. We had a wonderful weekend and I wish every weekend was like that here. I totally understand why people pay more to live in California because having nice weather all year round sounds amazing. That's not what we have here. So we're trying to take advantage of it while we can and do a lot of fun things and take advantage of all our outdoor memberships and our backyard and just being in the outdoors together. So we're having a really good time here, but I never let having a good time stop me from Transfer Tuesday because no matter what, I'm gonna be putting something toward my bigger financial goals. And that's why I do Transfer Tuesday, it's why I started it, and it's the reason why we've done so much. I love Transfer Tuesday most weeks because I know that I'm gonna be able to put something, even if it's $5, toward my goal, and that will move me a little bit closer to where I really wanna be with my finances. It's just a nice time for me to also check in with my finances. I usually sit down before Transfer Tuesday, I don't, share this actually a lot my process before transfer tuesday and maybe i should but that is actually the time where i sit down i review our budget i pay all of our bills i check all of our account balances and then i also move money over to my big financial goals it's basically just the day that i've chosen for my weekly check-in so that i check all of the important things on my money to-do list and then i make the transfers to get us closer to the big financial goals like saving for our next house. And that is the current financial goal that we are working on. I'll be honest, saving up for our next house has been not the easiest financial goal that we've ever done, mostly because it's a big amount of money. It's probably the highest total amount that we've tried to save up for. And it's also something that we are just so up and down with whether or not we're gonna buy sooner or later, whether or not we want a bigger house or just a different area whether or not we want certain things, whether or not like now is even the time we go back and forth. And you guys probably hear this a lot if you've been with me for a while, like we'll decide our timeline is next year. We'll decide our timeline is five years from now. We just have no real idea of when this is gonna happen, but I know that putting the money away and having that money ready for when the time is right is going to feel so amazing. So that's why we keep plugging away at it, even though it seems really far away right now. That's also why I break my savings down per year. So I always set a yearly savings goal for the house savings, because if I was working on the bigger goal all the time, I would feel like I'm making zero progress. But instead, when I had set a $10,000 per year goal, that feels a lot more doable and it actually feels more achievable. And we also are seeing the progress. So whenever we hit a $500 or $1,000 milestone of saving, it feels a lot more substantial than if you are saving $500 out of 80 grand. That doesn't feel like anything. That feels pointless and like so small. But 500 out of 10,000 feels a lot more like substantial. It feels like you've actually done something. So that's kind of why I personally do it that way, why I have a yearly goal that's a lot smaller than the bigger goal, just because one, that's more feasibly like actually possible for us to do every single year. We're not gonna probably be able to save, you know, 30 to $80,000 in one year. We don't make that much money, but we can save $10,000. We've done it before and I know we can do it. So that's kind of why I break it down so that it feels like we're making more progress and it's more motivating and it's actually possible. So that's why I kind of set my goals up like that and I love doing it. So this year we are working on that specific goal. We are trying to save $10,000 to put toward our home in the future, whenever that does happen. So our house down payment is growing constantly and this is part of it and the goal for 2024 is $10,000. So let's look at the numbers and see what we did today. So last week we ended with a balance in this 2024 house savings account of $615. So we had kind of been building it back up after emptying it out earlier in the year, and that's where we ended. So that's where we're starting today. And then we do have four transfers. That's kind of been how many we've had the last few weeks. I usually try to find money in different ways and different sources. So that's what we're going to do today. And the first transfer is $10.22 that we put into this account. That 1022 was my 
cash out from upside. I usually try to cash out on um, upside every time I have over $10. Sometimes I have more, sometimes I have less, but if I have at least $10, I try to cash that out. And I did have 10.22 this week and I did fill up my own personal tank this week. So I got a few dollars there. And then the next transfer was 39.08. So I moved 39.08 over from our checking account where I didn't spend as much money on some things as I had budgeted. So 39.08 got moved over from checking today just because that's how much I had available that hadn't been spent. And I kind of was looking at it as potential money to move over toward this anyway. So I just went ahead and did it just get out of there. And that's basically money I had thought I was going to spend on something and did not. So, hey, if I didn't spend the money, let's move it over toward the goal. Because if I don't, I'll go spend it on something else. Of course, there's always more to spend money on. So I could always buy something new. And I have been looking at things because it is birthday month and I have people that buy gifts for me. So I'm like, ooh, there's so many things out there that I want and could get. Um, and sometimes that money does get spent on those things. So instead we moved it over and we transferred it to Transfer Tuesday. Y'all, my camera battery died. We are so unprepared to film today. It's just one of those days, but we're gonna carry on. So the next two transfers are the bigger ones and that's exciting. The first transfer of the two big ones is $100 and that $100 is what we have decided to put in every single week. So that way this grows a little bit faster. We were putting in $50 per week. And so we've kind of moved that up to 100. I was talking about it forever and I finally did it last week. And so this is the second week of putting in $100, which is really exciting because that got us up to 764.30. So I made a video yesterday kind of sharing my bonus budget because I did pay myself a quarterly bonus on tax day, April 15th. I also sent a lot of money to the government from my accounts, so I gave myself a little something. I am just happy that I got a bonus and I did share my budget for that bonus and I put 10% of it toward this goal. So I put $250 toward this goal and that means I transferred my 250 and that 250 brought us up to a new total of $1,014.30. Yes, we are over $1,000. So honestly, I didn't realize I was gonna hit that milestone today. Last week we were at like 600. So we've been going so slow every single week. Basically it's been like 100, 200, 300, 400. And now we are starting to ramp it up a little bit more. So we went from 400 to 600, now 600 to 1,000. So I'm feeling a lot better about the goal now that we are at 1,000. So we have 9,000 left to save this year which actually, let me just pull out my calculator and see how much that is. So we have, let's not count April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. So we got like eight months. So I really need to save a little bit over a thousand dollars a month. So 1,125 and we'll hit our goal. Honestly, don't know if it's even possible, but we're gonna try and we're definitely gonna put more bonus money toward this later in the year. Fingers crossed, I'm able to keep paying myself as much as I am and find new ways to make money and also make more videos so that that ad revenue goes into my account as well. I am really enjoying still making videos and trying new things and doing different types of videos. That's been really fun over the last few weeks or months. So I'm hoping to keep that up and see if it makes a difference in how much money I'm making and also how many people I can reach and kind of teach these common sense methods and ideas about personal finance because they have so very much changed my own life and have made me feel so much better about where we are financially. So that's the goal, help more people make more money. So yeah, that's definitely the plan as I am playing catch up mode with this specific goal for the year. And Comic Club, if you watch this far, type down below bonus because I can't think of anything else to say and it was bonus week and that is just fun. So type down below bonus if you watch this far because you're awesome and you're part of Comic Club and I love you. So I'll see you guys next week for our adventure in Transfer Tuesday and we will put more money toward our goals. Let me know what you did this week and I'll see you then. Bye guys.